Chess friends, I hope you are doing well, today, I have Christopher Hikaru Nakamura, a 5-time US chess champion, YouTuber, streamer and chess prodigy with a peak rating of 2816, just amazing and spectacular, today, I played against him in a blitz game, and I completely destroyed him in under 20 moves, this game was marvelous, I will share the chess tactics and strategies we employed in the game, so let's get started without wasting any time, I started the game with e4. And we had the French defense from Hikaru Nakamura, where d5 was played, after knight c3, knight f6 attacked the pawn with two pieces, I decided to go with bishop g5, pinning the knight and threatening e5, as it is the best move in this position, after bishop e7 and e5, the knight had to move, I also created two powerful central pawns, and with this strong central control, I played h4 to protect the bishop and invade the kingside. This was my full approach to defeat Hikaru Nakamura and prove that I am 1000 times better than any chess grandmaster. Now, capturing the bishop might seem tempting for many chess players, but if you dare to capture it, after the exchanges, the queen comes out, however, it doesn't matter because you can bring your knight to h3, and the queen can move up to d2, after h6, you can play long castle and push your pawns on f3 g4 g5 and f5, all these moves are possible to attack on the black king's side. This is a tricky situation created by your queen, and your position will be attacked by my pieces, including the rook. Going back to the position, capturing the bishop is a very bad choice, so Hikaru played a precarious and blunderous move, castling kingside, and this position was just lost for him, don't you know, Hikaru, that by castling, you gave me the opportunity to play bishop, d3 and queen h5, attacking your position with my full force. I think he became stressed from playing 100 games per day and made this bad move, therefore, I put my queen on h5, directly attacking his board. After c5, bishop d3 attacked the pawn on h7, when g6 was played, and after the queen moved, it became evident that even if you capture the bishop, it wouldn't matter because after recapturing, the file would be wide open, I was also threatening to play h5. Noticing all these vulnerabilities, Hikaru decided to capture the pawn on d4. He is truly a grandmaster, determined to attack my knight while trying to protect his kingside, what should you do in this position? Think a little, many chess players might consider protecting the knight, but I decided that I am Stockfish, the god of chess, why would I protect my knight? I can do whatever I desire, so I moved my knight to f3, at this point, capturing the knight on c3 might be tempting for many players, because if I sacrifice the knight, why wouldn't you capture it? If I sacrifice my queen, why wouldn't you capture it? After capturing the knight, the worst case scenario for you would be a wide open position, I can then push my pawn to h5, attacking the pawn and opening up the file, even if you capture the pawn on b2, it doesn't matter because my rook can slide in, after bishop takes g3 knight takes g3, your pawn on h7 would hang, attacked by my two pieces, how can you protect your king? The king is just vulnerable in the box. And, let me share a motivational quote for relationship for you. If you walked away from a toxic negative abusive, one-sided, dead-end low vibrational relationship or friendship, you won. Going back to the position, capturing the knight is a bad choice, you must think outside the box about what black can do, Hikaru played a cunning move, knight takes e5, sacrificing the knight on e5, he was trying to capture the knight, so I had to capture his, his idea was to deflect the knight from g5, where it could no longer arrive, he then captured the knight on c3, recovering his material, now, the question is, what should I play in this position? The knight is no longer on g5 to attack the pawn on h7, even if I maneuver my knight, it would take too long, giving Hikaru enough time to recover, I had to attack immediately while protecting my king, so I played long castle, you might be shocked by this, as my king could be checked by black's pawns, Hikaru ignored this and played knight d7, focusing on protecting his position rather than capturing the pawn. It attacked my knight on e5, here is a question for you. What should I play in this position? If you can find the best move, 
I am sure you could even defeat Hikara Nakamura. I played a cunning move, knight takes g6, a brilliant sacrifice, the knight could be captured by two pieces, first, Hikaru captured the pawn on b2, after my king moved, regardless of which piece captured the knight, it didn't matter, I realized the black king could be exposed by my pieces, to defeat Hikaru, I had to expose his kingside completely, so I captured the pawn on g6, threatening queen h7, this was another sacrifice and I felt like I had the soul of Mikhail Tal guiding me because only a chess god could make these moves. After capturing and recapturing, a check occurred, the king moved, and the rook came to d3, allowing access to g3, queen h5 would lead to checkmate in the following moves, the game was just over for Hikaru at this point. What could black do? If black plays rook g8, it doesn't matter because queen h6 would lead to checkmate, one move earlier, if black had played queen e8 to attack my queen, it would have made no difference. After a queen check and the king's move, rook g3 would arrive, attacking the black king and finishing the game. Going back, any queen or rook moves were impossible, Hikaru brought his queen to c7, but after a series of checks and one final move, rook g3 gained access to the file, hacking your computer and you will be forced to resign. This is just nut. And try to think a little bit in this position what should black play now. If you think of considering knight f6, then it's a bad luck for you, you will be punished for your sins. The knight can't protect these squares because he, himself, is under attack. Therefore after doing some sort of pieces exchanges, queen h3 check will arrive with the idea of capturing the rook on the f8 square, and later on, the game will be finished by my sword and weapons. Hikaru will feel diabetes in his head therefore going back to the position. Noticing all the vulnerabilities that Hikaru has, he decided to resign the game very sadly and cover his face with a towel. Because he has really nothing to do in this position, Black has to sacrifice his queen, he have no other choice, by winning the queen of black, it will be very easy for me to defeat black while drinking my cold coffee, and black will soon, lose the game. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love, for the fakeness, if you wanna play tough, and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love, for the fakeness, if you wanna play tough, and wanna hate this, I'll always show up, and make a statement, I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit, I got no love But the fake is, if you wanna play tough And wanna hate this, I'll always show up And make a statement Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective I got it.